Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 16. Write a program to input line or lines of text from the user until enter is pressed. Count the total number of characters in the text, including white spaces, total number of alphabets, total number of digits, total number of special symbols, and total number of words in the given text. Assume that each word is separated by one space. Now, let us begin with the program. Here I am going to take a variable called string is equal to. We will ask the user to enter the string using input statement. Here I will write input in a double quotation mark. I will ask the user to enter the string. String is a sequence of characters enclosed within a pair of single or double quotation mark. Now we will take a variable called L which is used to find the length of the string. Here we will use the function called length, length of this string that gives the total number of characters uh, present in the entire string. Now we will take the three variables called alpha is equal to, we will write digit is equal to next special symbol, special is equal to zero. So all of these three variables are set to zero. Otherwise, you can separately uh, set them zero. Next, I will use one more variable called words and it is equated with value one. Even if you don't give the space, then it will be treated as one word. So hence, we have taken words is equal to one here. Now, let us uh, iterate through the string using for loop. For, I'll use ch in string and put colon as per the syntax of for loop and here we'll check out the condition if ch dot is alpha if this is true then the alpha variable must get incremented by one so here with indentation space i'm going to write alpha plus is equal to one next we will check out the next condition using elif statement if ch dot here i'm going to write is digit if this condition is true then this variable digit must get increment its value by one here i'm going to write with indentation space digit plus is equal to one now once again i'm going to check out one more condition using l if statement ch dot here I'm going to write is space and put colon over here. And now if there is a space, then words should get incremented by one. Here I'm going to use words plus is equal to one. Now, if all of these conditions are false, then at least else part must get executed. So that is special variable should get increment its value by one. So here I'm going to use else colon, then I'll write here special plus is equal to one. So after this, with the alignment of this for loop, I'm going to write print in a double quotation mark, total number of characters and the double quotation mark here total number of uh, characters are uh, stored in the variable called l so here put comma then write l and close the bracket now we will write print and now i'm going to uh, count the total number of alphabets here in a double quotation mark i'll write total number of alphabets End the double quotation mark and put comma and write the variable called alpha. Similarly, I'm going to write print in a double quotation mark total number of digits. Here I'll write digit and close the bracket. Next print in a double quotation mark total number of 
स्पेशल सिंबॉल्स एंड द डबल कोटेशन मार्क एंड हियर पुट कॉमा वी विल राइट द वेरिएबल कॉल्ड स्पेशल नेक्स्ट प्रिंट इन अ डबल कोटेशन मार्क टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स here i'm going to put comma and write words and close the bracket now check out its output so here once we execute this program it will ask the user to enter the string so here enter the string will be printed and now for example i'm going to enter hello word and i'm going to use at the rate 1 2 3 for example now so you can calculate the length of the string so here i'm going to write l is equal to length of this string so how many characters are present you can count 1 2 3 4 5 and including this um, blank space is also a character so 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so there are 15 characters so 15 will be initialized to the variable l and using this iterative statement we are going to check out each character of the given string if ch dot e is alpha so here you can observe the first letter of this string is alphabet that is h so here alpha will get incremented by 1 because this condition is true hence it is going to increment its value by 1 so once again the control transfers to for loop and it is going to increment the value of ch by 1 next it is going to check out e so e is also alphabet so hence this condition is true and this alpha will get incremented by 1 now alpha is again incremented by 1 now alpha value is 2 once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of ch by 1 now it is going to point to the next l now Uh, again this condition is true alpha will get incremented by 1 the value of uh, alpha is 3 similarly l is next l 4 this is 5 so there are five characters next till this particular point the variable alpha is equal to 5 next you can observe here there is a blank space so here ch is alpha no it is not then else if a part will be checked it is is it digit no then the control transfers to lf ch dot e is space yes it is a space then words will get incremented by 1 so here words is equated with value 1 plus 1 because the words is already equated with value 1 now it has become 2 once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of ch now it is going to point to w here it will be added 1 similarly o again it will be added 1 for r it will be added 1 so for l it will be added 1 so for d it will be added 1 after iterating up to this particular character once again control transfers to for loop and ch will get incremented now it is going to point to this character that is special character so here we are going to check out the condition e is this character is alphabet no it is not then l if ch dot e is a digit it is not a digit then control transfers to l if ch dot e is a space but it is not a space so hence it is going to transfer the control to else part so here special will get incremented by 1 so here i am going to write special is equal to earlier special was 0 0 plus 1 it will become 1 so special is incremented its value by 1 so after this the control transfers to the next character which is digit 1 once again control transfers to for loop now it is going to check out ch dot e is alpha it is not an alphabet hence this condition is false so else if will be checked ch dot e is digit yes it is digit so hence digit will get incremented by 1 so here earlier digit was initialized with value 0 
now digit is incremented its value by 1 now digit is equal to 1 so once again control transfers to for loop and it is going to point to the next character that is also a digit so here it is going to check out this condition will it is false then l if ch dot is digit yes it is true then the digit variable will get increments its value by 1 so i'll write here plus 1 once again control transfers to for loop and it is going to point to the last character that is also 3 so here it is going to check out this condition so is ch dot is alpha no this is false so l if ch dot is digit yes this is true then digit will get increment its value by 1 so here the digit is having value 3 and special symbol is 1 so words are 2 and alphabets you can count 5 plus 1 6 7 8 9 10 so it is 10 now you can observe here we have got printed these statements so it is going to print total number of characters and after that you can observe here l is written so l is holding value 15 so there are total 15 characters next statement is total number of alphabets here i'm going to write total number of alphabets here you can observe alpha is incremented its value and it is 10 now you can observe total number of digits so digits is holding value 3 there are 3 digits next the total number of symbols here i'm going to write total number of symbols that is special symbols you can write next here special is holding value 1 next total number of words here total number of words is holding value 2 now it's time to go for executing this program let us execute and check out the result now we have come to vs code let us click on new file and here i'm going to write lab 16.py and press enter so here we have come in a lab 16.py file let us write here string is equal to i'm going to write input and inside the round bracket in a double quotation mark i'll ask the user to enter the string now i'm going to fast forward this particular part of the video so that we can save our time Now it's uh, time to save this uh, particular file by pressing Ctrl S and now let us execute go to run click on start debugging click on python debugger click on python file debug the currently active python file. Now here you can observe it is executing in the terminal and now it is asking the user to enter the string for example I am going to type hello world at one two three and i'll press enter here you can observe total number of characters 15 total number of alphabets 10 total number of digits 3 total number of special symbols 1 total number of words 2 i hope you understood this video if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below 
Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video.